The Surface Controlled Subsurface Safety Valve, or SCSSV, is a fail-close valve which is held open by a high-pressure control line which is run alongside the tubing string down to the depth at which the valve is located. The control line is generally connected at the surface to an emergency shutdown system, which automatically shuts in the well if unsafe conditions are detected, for example, a fire or gas detection. There is usually a control panel with pressure gauges and controls for all the wells on an offshore platform. The safety valves can be tested, closed, and reopened using hydraulic pressure. Such valves are the most commonly used today, and in some countries, such as the United States, they are required in all offshore wells and onshore sour wells. These valves may be wireline retrievable or tubing retrievable. The wireline retrievable surface controlled subsurface safety valve is installed in a landing nipple, such as we see here. This nipple has a port through which the control line communicates with the valve between this set of packings, which as we see right here. The tubing retrievable SCS SSV is an integral part of the tubing string and as a result has a larger through bore than the retrievable type valves. It is not so dependent on elastomer seals as the wireline retrievable type and has a much longer service life, usually 5 to 20 years. Since tubing retrievable valves require an expensive rig workover to pull the tubing should they fail to operate correctly, these valves are often backed up with a nipple section designed to accept a wireline retrievable valve after the original inoperable valve is locked open. These valves come in a variety of designs which may have single or dual hydraulic control lines, either ball type or the flapper type valve mechanisms, and special material designs for sour, sandy, or high pressure service. The setting depth for subsurface safety valves is often a matter of government regulation and company policy. When drilling and production is undertaken concurrently on an offshore platform, Many companies like to set the valves beyond the kickoff point so that they can be used to shut in the well during the top hole drilling and kickoff of an adjacent well. Other designers prefer to install the valve near the surface and avoid subjecting it to bending stresses. However, these valves are normally set at least 150 or 50 meters below the surface or sea floor.